Welcome back to New Rockstars. This is The Boys Underground, where we break down and chat about Amazon's darkest, horrific, live-action superhero show. Uh, I'm Jessica Clemens, here with Brandon Barrick. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, and Marina Mastro. Hi! Yeah, yes, dog. returning, returning yeah, for The Boys. Right. Oh my God. Just for the boys. Just, Just for the boys. boys. <laughs> Just for the boys, you guys. We're gonna talk about all three episodes of The Boys season three today. But first we wanna talk about all of our awesome merch options over at newrockstarsmerch.com. Right now you can get our latest Obsession shirt, Empire's Most Wanted, uh, inspired by the Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney+. Plus. And if you purchase this limited edition shirt, you get an option to unlock a shout out, which will be uh, shown on our Wookiee Lakes show, which is our Obi-Wan Kenobi after show, hosted by Eric Voss and Tommy Bechtold. We got tons of awesome Obi-Wan Kenobi merch, some summer merch options, pride merch options. You can see it all over at newrockstarsmerch.com. That was a big three episode drop, I yeah. must say. <laughs> yeah. Woo wee, so this is, we're gonna break down uh, the three episodes that we just watched for season three that dropped yesterday at like 5 p.m., mm -hmm. coincidentally. And we'll be here recapping literally every episode of The Boys going forward. Uh, so before we even get into the mess that we saw from last night, let's recap season two, shall we? Yes, let's let's do a little quick recap because it's been almost two years since yeah. season two. Two years. Yeah. Two years. There's so much I had to look up. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> After being framed for Stillwell's a murder, Huey, Kimiko, Frenchie, and Mother's Milk go into hiding and begin trying to prove their innocence. Meanwhile, Stormfront, the Nazi Homelander love interest, becomes the newest member of the Seven. It's also revealed now that Va is actually a pharmaceutical company and Compound V is their most valuable asset. Through a series of real unfortunate events, Butcher and Becca reunite, but with Butcher not wanting anything to do with Ryan, Homelander and Becca's son, Becca refuses to run away with him. Homelander and Stormfront then take Ryan with the ideals he'd be better fit around other soups and further pushing their Nazi agenda. The group finds out Stormfront is in fact a Nazi, basically compound V patient zero, and extremely dangerous with Homelander. So they devise a plan to save Ryan and take out Stormfront. Stormfront gets curb stomped by Kimiko, Maeve, and Starlight <laughs> in a beautiful fight. It's a but good beatdown. It's good yeah. beatdown. <laughs> my mom rewound that ah! scene so many times. I wish she could clip it and make it my like phone scene. Like when yeah. Becca like stabs her in the eye. Too, yeah, oh, yeah. Which is great. <laughs> Just get a bunch of girls to beat up other girls. <laughs> yeah. I was so into it. But unfortunately, as we know, uh, Stormfront retreats and is about to kill Becca when Ryan laser beams her entire body and accidentally kills Becca, his mom, in the crossfire. Butcher promises to take care of Ryan. Homelander weeps over Stormfront. Our nautical hero, The Deep, spent the season taking some questionable counseling through the Church of the Collective, but is a changed man by the end of it with a new wife at his side. A-Train has just come out of his coma following his compound V-induced heart attack and also uses the church to maneuver his way back into the Seven. Maeve uses the footage of Flight 37 as blackmail to keep Homelander away from her and Elena. Victoria Newman, Congresswoman, anti-soup activist, turns out to be a soup who can make people's heads explode. What a season. It was Woo! so, <laughs> the season, season two was so jam-packed and clearly my favorite season, so I wanna see what season three has to offer, but like, Season two was so good. It was legit. It was so good. It had so, so many juicy. Stories. It was so, so juicy. juicy. I love it. So juicy. I mean, this season started off pretty juicy. Oh <laughs> my god. Too, too juicy. Uh, <laughs> a little too juicy. Oh a little man, too sweet that was me. that was a, a rough twelve minutes yeah. to start that it episode. Was the I would first say. 12 minutes. I love that they were like, "Oh, you forgot what the boys really." <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, about. Yeah. You had two years to think that we got soft. <laughs> we no, didn't. No. We got worse. No, no. We got worse. Did, Specific choice of words. I did part. see a great gif. We'll get into what happens in the episode. But <laughs> when Butcher has termite in the little bag, the gif was like, uh, me when I get that fun dip pouch. You know? <laughs> it's like shaking around in the little bag. I know a lot of people would pay good money to have that treatment. Oh, right. my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Well, let's talk about uh, episodes one, two, and three. We'll recap them real quick. Yep. Uh, you've all seen them, so let's, let's go through real quick. We open at the premiere of Dawn of the Seven. Mother's Milk has stopped chasing after soups and gone back to his family. Huey is now working with Victoria Newman at the Federal Bureau of Superhuman Affairs. Kimiko and Frenchie work with Butcher catching soups without killing them. They're doing it the good way. They're doing it the right way. All is well. That is until Huey discovers that his boss, Victoria Newman, is the head poppin' soup from the previous season and is related to head honcho of Vought, Stan Edgar. Related through adoption, he yeah. adopted her, yeah, he adopted. but he's getting real cozy with her, uh, oh. maybe too old daughter <laughs> to be sitting that close to a, a stranger reading her a book. I don't know, very, very bizarre. I'm glad she called it out. <laughs> I'm glad she called it out. <laughs> it was a little, a little bizarre. 
Uh, there's a new 24-hour version of the Compound V that Maeve sneaks to Butcher. He resists at first, but can't help but try it out uh, in part of his interrogation of the soup gunpowder, which was great. Uh, Starlight has just been named co-captain of the Seven, seeing as her ratings are higher than Homelander's right now, which drives Homelander to absolute madness. If you didn't think he was mad enough, yeah. he gets a little bit crazier. A little bit crazier. I, I was really fascinated with him watching... The movie, because I think he, does he really love Stormfront? Stormfront? I mean, he loves yeah. himself more than anything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you think he really loved her? I, I think at the end of the day, it was her praise of him that he loved. Yeah. And she was. How mu- oh, how much she idolized and, him. And she did. Right? She, she recognized she, his power. Where Stillwell was wrong, Stormfront put him on a pedestal. Mm-hmm. He was the Nazis like mission. They were yeah, like, yeah. you're a superhero. You're the Ubermensch. Yeah. You're the Ubermensch. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I think he loved having someone there that was. 24-7 reminding him of how good he was and how everyone else is wrong. Yeah. Which, uh, someone that doesn't have a mother would probably have those oh, issues of, God. like, not to be devil's advocate for <laughs> Homelander. Well, yeah, I did. I, I was almost feeling bad for Homelander because he's like, oh, he has to watch this movie that he's in with Charlie Theron. What a, what a pull. So funny. What a pull. Oh, She's my having God. the summer of superhero You know that movies. she was on set for one day and uh, got paid, and she was like, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. But I was kind of feeling bad. He's like, oh, yes, let's watch this movie, a, a fake narrative about how he had to yeah. fight his own his own love. But then I was like, no, he's a piece of shit. He, so he's okay. fine. I was like, yeah, once he uh, quoted Martin Luther King. <laughs> I know. Oh I my said, god! I said, there's so many times because we're doing this show. I won't turn it off. But <laughs> I, you don't know how many times I've been embarrassed for them. Mm-hmm. I was like, when he was like, me and Martin Luther King, kind of the same person, and I was like, and he started reciting it. I was like, stop him! Stop him! Someone tell me this. Stop put this, this in. Put this in this. Well, yes, he does, uh, our good buddy Homelander confides every day to Stormfront, who is still barely alive oh. and with only one remaining limb, which she puts to some use, uh, and a severely burned body. Uh, I, did, I, I, I was surprised to see that she was still being kept alive and in Homelander's too, room. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Uh, but later on in the episode, she million dollar babies herself, uh, driving Homelander even crazier by committing suicide. And on his birthday, yeah. how could she? The poor man's birthday. Homelander on live television denounces everyone who doesn't praise him and compares himself to Jesus. And his ratings shoot through the roof. He uses his newfound popularity to keep a close eye on Starlight by announcing to the world that they are now dating, much to the surprise of Starlight. But because she needs to keep herself alive, she leans into it. Uh, the gang decides they need to stop Homelander once and for all with a weapon that allegedly killed Soldier Boy, a very powerful soup, during the Iran-Contra affair. Uh, and the last people to have that weapon was the Russians. They made the weapon, they ran away with the weapon, and mm-hmm. possibly ran away with Soldier Boy. I, mm-hmm. I think it's also good to know, allegedly, the Russians. I don't right. trust oh, okay. Crimson. I don't trust her. When she came crying, did yeah. it seem at all, like, real? Oh, yes, yes. It, I know that she's weeping over chimpanzees not crying, <laughs> like, 40 years great, later. A great song. So, Chips don't cry. So good. When Kimiko <laughs> was into the music, I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, Keep playing it. I was watching it with the captions on, and I was like, "She's not saying chimps." And then I was like, "She's saying chimps." Yeah, and chimps. Then they the chimps. Yeah. It's like so funny. Uh, Which is also fun fact, a true fact. Chimps can't cry. What? Doesn't mean emotionally they can't feel anything, but they yeah. can't cry. Um, and I think, so side note, some major points in these episodes to also take away. In episode one, we immediately get a flash of the Soldier Boy statue mm. that we saw in season two, episode seven, uh, during Homelander and Stormfront's rally. And I think that's good to note because this is the movie scene. We see it like toppled mm. over yeah. and all the debris. And it's like, okay, so not only is this right now in this city, but we're still acknowledging Home, or Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is a guy that is very powerful. I don't think Homelander has a statue, does he? They have in the in the in, building. In the, in the building, in the Bob building. Like statues right. and like paintings. Yes. Frises of all the heroes uh, all over the place. Uh, do you, real quick about that movie. Did they fake A Train's power in that they movie? Because he ha- he can't run, right? I'm he doesn't sure. want to run. Or may, or he just did it from here to here. Like yeah, like a little shot. quick one. Yeah. And just I shot. thought it was just like even a little bit could oh, like really? give him a yeah. heart attack. I mean, what a life! Yeah, what a true life to live. We also we also see Black Noir in the movie. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen him in present day. 
The last we saw him in season two, uh, Maeve force fed him an almond joy, which so he has the allergy to tree nuts, which we saw uh, brought up in the flashback to the uh, the events mm -hmm. down in Nicaragua. Is where mm -hmm. it was? Yes, yes, yes. Because yes, yes. uh, she was like, I've never been there. And mm -hmm. then during before the season release, they did like kind of some episodes on YouTube. That show, the the Vot Network show, mm. uh, where they all get interviewed that we see in this season. They did some clips uh, before the season came out, kind of like catching up with the heroes where they were. They say on that show that Black Noir is still alive and he's out yeah. hunting a serial killer somewhere. But I'm mm -hmm. wondering if he's maybe still in a coma, maybe still very sick, mm -hmm. maybe still out there somewhere. Because you could fake him in the movie. You just put anyone in the outfit, Oh, yeah, right? for sure. That is also true. That's interesting. <laughs> That's so funny if they do that. Because they did that with... We'll get into it. Termite, the superhero that we see uh, <laughs> at the beginning. Oh, my gosh. He shrinks down to miniature size and jumps in what you think is a butthole, but <laughs> is not a butthole. I thought it was a butthole. We all thought it was a butthole. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I was thought... like, oh, he's going to go in the butt. Oh, he's not going to go when in the butt. When he was like, I want you inside me, I was like, oh, they're just going to have sex. Then oh, I was no. like, as oh, soon it's as a that, butthole. As soon as that line was said, I was like, like, this guy's gonna get smart. Well, you're smarter than I am, though. It's like, oh. Uh, the writer said, "We're so tired of Marvel not talking about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, We're yeah. gonna rack yes. it out." Yes, I mean, Frenchie being afraid that he's gonna go up the butt yeah. and get he's real like, big. Go up the Ant Man Thanos theory finally put into practice, <laughs> finally, and we saw it. We we, we visibly saw, saw it. it. So that um, I think you guys remember, but if you don't, he's in season one, episode one, in the sex club mm. when Huey and um, Butcher go to the sex club. He's the one that. Dives in, if you will. <laughs> uh, he runs at a full sprint, <laughs> and then he goes, wee! Uh, and then in the comics, we see him in Herogasm, which is also an episode that is like episode like six yeah, of the season. Yeah, it's like halfway through the season, yeah, we'll and it's see. something where uh, uh, the guy who played, the man who plays Soldier Boy, the actor, uh, he was saying like, that was a very awkward episode to film, so we'll see Ooh. how it could be any more awkward yeah, than anything really. we've seen on the show before. I, I don't know. I think from the comics, Herogasm is the comic like everyone's always like everything can come back to uh, hero game that's like that's so, the red wedding of the yeah show. that's the red that's wedding the of the moment. comic okay uh the secretary of defense robert singer played by jim beaver whom we first met in season one is now running for president yeah. which is bad news i think because yeah. he clearly is in vaught's pocket well, he used yeah. to run vaught right wasn't he like a higher up at vaught i think or, so i think so or on the board or something like that i mean that's usually how it works yeah right? he has yeah. some I mean, that's a little real life coming into you yeah. right there. Politicians involved in businesses. I don't want to get into it. But, uh, it the only person. No. <laughs> this is where it starts. <laughs> Give me that power. Give me that V. Uh, this is, uh, it was only, um, I was only skeptical because I was mainly like, uh, but it, I mean, maybe for the best, that he didn't want the compound V. He was like, no, this yeah. is tied to a Nazi. <laughs> I don't want it. I mean, I'm not going to run. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad politics. It doesn't bad look politics. good. But I, I, I found it really interesting in that scene that he was having. Uh, uh, where they were talking about, like, I don't want, he's saying, I don't want Vought to have the superheroes. They're the problem. Yeah, they're the yeah. problem. I want to be a pharmaceutical company yeah. and a weapons company. Mm -hmm. And these heroes that we have to babysit, yeah. they're the big problem, which is very interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. If he, if they want to find a way to kill all the superheroes, I don't know. I mean, maybe that's what this weapon is for. I mean, that's let's, a great theory. Let's hold on to that because there's, uh, later on, I know there's one that that could apply to. Okay. okay. Episode okay. two, uh, at the orphanage, I think it's the Red River Orphanage. Yeah. That boy teleporting is Madeline Stillwell's son, Teddy. Teddy Stillwell. Who they even call Teddy Stillwell yeah. in, the, in the, like, script. So you know that's Teddy Stillwell. Even if the age and the years might not seem like they line up, it is him. Mm -hmm. It could so, be growing faster. He's got that's what I think. His superpowers compounds. is maybe, like, I age quickly, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, and because... And you a know, year went by. So. Yeah, yeah, the house, the, ho the house exploded, but mm -hmm. then he was found teleported away. Yeah, right? he teleported yeah. from yeah. the danger, which I think is also great for a, a newborn baby. Oh, I know was able to teleport from, heard a loud noise and went yeah. <laughs> just like zipped 17 miles away from the house. Uh, so that's a good one. In episode one, uh, season six, or wait, in season one, episode six, uh, oh, okay. You want to do this one? Uh, yes, because it's really oh, stupid. This is just I a stupid about, fun yeah, fact. I this up. is a stupid fun fact that I really love and I forgot. If you are like my mom and you were also confused why A-Train went to Seth and said, you have no dick. <laughs> It's because Seth was in season one, episode six, when Huey and um, Butcher went to the like. Um, it was like a support group. Yeah, support right? group for superheroes that affected actual normal civilians' lives. Yeah. Seth had sex with Ice Princess, <laughs> who then turned to negative 346 degrees, the same temperature as liquid nitrogen, and in a painful memory Seth has of his dick literally getting poof, snapped off. Getting right? snapped yeah, off. Yeah. So it's like A Train literally brought that up Ugh. to be the meanest person in the world. Uh. <laughs> it's 
so funny. I mean, I Seth's a bad guy. He's that. a bad guy. Yeah, he's he's sexualizing guy. 11 to 14-year-old yeah, exactly. girls. Uh, he's a bad guy. And then last fun fact is the shipment that we see that's one th- uh, 100% Colombian Black Noir Coffee Rose was actually in the 80s uh, used to ship cocaine or was thought, allegedly, probably, to <laughs> ship cocaine because dogs couldn't sniff the cocaine mm. uh, through coffee. Through coffee, right? So that Black Noir is the symbol for the I ran Contra affair. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you don't know out there, please look up the uh, I ran Contra yeah. affair and yeah, how yeah. Ronald Reagan and Oliver North were involved in some very shady business please dealings. Please do. That much of the show is true. Yeah. That, that much of the show I is very it. true. Yeah. So let's get to the actual big questions of the show. Those were just like fun facts for you guys to look into. The big questions of the show. What did Soldier Boy do to Mother Mother's Milk family? Okay. You know, because Mother's Milk, a whole thing is like, I'm going to kill this man because mm-hmm. he killed my family. And past seasons, Mother's Milk talked about his dad fondly, but something happened between him and Vought where he tried suing him. Um, he would always hear his dad type uh, typing on his typewriter, and then one day found his dad hunched over dead at the typewriter. In the comic books, his brother died taking Compound V, mm. and it sent his dad spiraling. Do we think? Soldier Boy, like now that we, that's in the comics, not in the show. Do we think Soldier Boy had anything to do with that? Well, I, when he was like kind of going through his papers and like yeah. laying everything mm-hmm, out again, mm-hmm. that first article, it did say like, it brought up like a family caught in the crossfire in Harlem. And I was mm. like, oh, is that is that him? Is that Mother's Milk's family that was killed? And then there was a bunch of other articles. So I don't know. I assume it was some sort of like superhero casualty thing. Yeah, right, that collateral we about. damage. Collateral right? damage. Oh, yeah. that would make sense. And it still would give you like vengeance to want to kill this Now, guy. if it's something where, you know, th- they brought it up, uh, uh, A-Train's brother was bringing up how like, you know, someone was killed by a superhero, maybe like falsely accused and it's just like murdered in the street. Maybe something happened similar to Mother Smoke's family where Soldier Boy thought he was going to kill some criminals and he kills the wrong mm, people. Yeah. But we're also wondering, is Soldier Boy actually dead? No and, way he's dead. And, well, in the <laughs> yeah. trailer, we see a lot of him are the flashbacks that we saw mm-hmm. in Nicaragua. But there is one scene where he is in like a tracksuit, longer hair, disheveled looking clearly, and like sitting in the middle of the ground. We also see a shot of a city like crumbling, like a, a statue or monument crumbling. And I'm thinking, what if someone a part of Mother's Milk life was in that crumbled? Oh, okay. So it could, he could he, like, still be dead. A building or something? Yeah. yeah, he could still be dead, and that flashback was from that time, not technically the '80s where the Iran Contra affair happened, but maybe like the '90s, oh, okay. uh, where Mother's Milk did have a brother that died or something. Um, I just feel like I, I, no one's ever dead. Right, yeah. but no one's ever dead, and Soldier Boy's gotta be alive. I well, why would we dead. spend so much time? Yeah, and I like. You do or you don't? I do. <laughs> I really want him to be dead because I think it makes, m- it's not that it makes more sense, but I think it's better for the, sh- the story mm-hmm. that it's just like, yeah, he is dead. Oh, he's, he can he's never dead. You're chasing that nothing. Like, mm. he's actually dead. And they think can... he's alive the whole time. It's like a MacGuffin. Mm-hmm. I mean, we know how the, you know, this series loves to kind of have all these allusions to famous co- comic book stories. Uh, and famous comic book heroes. This is this seems like a strong allusion to the Winter Soldier storyline, right? Mm-hmm. You take a hero from America, you take him over to Russia, you brainwash Turn him, you him change bad. him. And it does seem like the Russians are trying to, this makes me think of like Red Guardian, right? Like they want to find mm-hmm. their own compound V. They want to make it them, themselves. Yeah. But I love this idea that Vought's behind whatever Russia's doing too. Like they got to have their fingers everywhere uh. in the world and create their own competition in a way. I mean, it makes me think of like the space race, right? The, mm. you know, you have the, the Soviets and the Americans racing to space. Oh, for sure. Uh, and there's a, a lot of theories that uh, a lot of Soviet ass cosmonauts died that we don't know about mm. because the Soviets so tightly controlled the news yeah, yeah, about yeah. what space programs they oh. did that they were launching a lot of people into space. And the ones that didn't work, they never announced it. And the ones that did work, they're like, oh, Yuri Gagarin made it. It's great. Yeah. Look at him. There was 10 guys before him. And maybe even a, there's a big theory that they launched a woman into space oh, who wow. died uh, during and the whole space didn't race say, thing. Yeah. And they didn't want to bring it up because they, uh, they didn't want to talk oh, about it. Yeah. Well, also, like, they took Soldier Boy's body, which if you think, yeah. like, if, you've, if you developed a weapon to, to kill soups, why would you bother scooping the corpse mm-hmm. unless you need it yes. to either maybe like the weapon only works once and now he's the weapon? Oh, it's right, like, like it absorbs on. or something. Because so they had to take the body with them. Because I was like, why would you like risk in a wartime to bother to take something? Like it's so hard to do that. Mm-hmm. You would just leave. Yeah, yeah. You would just shoot soups and leave. Them. Yeah, exactly. Like what's the point unless he they need him for something? I, th- I that's I think that's a trail to uh to like sniff out. I think he probably they probably just like 
paralyzed him for a minute. Yeah. Right. And they oh, were yeah. like, we need to take the body. Mm -hmm. Because also I think it's easier to take his blood and his stuff and mm -hmm. test it to make other soups rather than just like trying to make a yeah, uh, compound scratch. beyond themselves. Yeah. So they probably only sure. paralyzed him. And that, I think that would make for good storytelling mm -hmm. too, to be like, we got the weapon, but it only like knocks you out for yeah. like 48 hours. Well, I, my theory is, cause we saw, <laughs> we saw Black Noir uh, in Nicaragua, right? Yes. We see him without the mask, he's talking, mm -hmm. he's got a normal face, everything seems fine. Finally, that actor's probably like, yeah, that's yes. what, the, my whole thing <laughs> my was always like, come. I'm so happy they made it work. Cause I yeah. feel like in the Mandalorian, it was really hard for Pedro Pascal to take right. off his mask because it's like, well, it's the Mandalorian code yeah. to not take off your mask. But in this, I'm like, there is no code. He can take off yeah, his mask. Let the actor, let the doesn't wanna wear, I love that he doesn't want to wear it. I know. And he's like, no, it tests better with young kids if you're, you're ah, silent. And, and also the like, we can't have a black guy on the seven is messed or yeah. on payback or whatever they were. Yeah, payback. during the like, the 80s the still. 80s, yeah, the late like, 80s. Yeah, they're like, you know, it doesn't work. Not good. But my theory is, so we see that he got, very badly mm -hmm. affected and scarred, and we know he doesn't heal up in the future, right? Yeah. But he has healing factor, that's part of his thing. I think whatever this weapon was, it hit him, oh, and it damaged that's him, why and he, he was never able to heal from that's that. That's where he got the peanut that's allergy. That's where he got the peanut allergy. It gives you no, a peanut already, allergy. already had it, he already had it. <laughs> it intensified it. Yeah, whatever this weapon was, it didn't kill Soldier yeah. Boy, it maimed him. Because he it, wasn't the direct, like, Yeah, hit. yeah, and I think Black Noir was there when it happened, he got hit. Uh, and Black maybe he Noir can't even talk about it now. Oh, yeah. He can't even say what the weapon is because oh, like God. his voice has been destroyed by it. it. And I yeah. think you're right that the uh, Crimson Countess or whatever her name is. Uh, yeah. Crimson. She was... It was just weird. It was she weird. was acting very yeah. hard. Right? And everyone was like on the ground helping each other yeah. and she went, Oh! Oh my goodness. The boy! Also, she's got to do <laughs> uh, six shows a day at Vaatland. Yeah. It's very oh, difficult. My God. What, what's so the tastiest sad. treat of Botland uh, in, in the Maeve's uh, pride the, area? Not, yeah, I was like, not the, the LGBT. LGBT. <laughs> that was so funny. What is it? Wait, woke, woke walk? Turkey woke leg. Walk. <laughs> turkey leg? LGBT, LGBT turkey leg. LGBT, 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 turkey. LGBT, LGBT, turkey. LGBT turkey leg. Yeah, yeah right? something like that. <laughs> uh, donut burger. Uh, yeah, what was the a woke walk? Uh, oh, what? It was all bad. My mom's favorite scene was Frenchie being like, a burger made of donut <laughs> buns. There is no God there here. Is no God. That is real, though. But I think that I think that laser or whatever machine gun yeah, yeah. is what actually did. And it's really hard for Black Noir. Black Noir couldn't even. He was so hurt when he found out that he was a test like yeah. subject, yeah. and his family is gone because he's been spending his like. I think he's still a very emotional person right. yeah. under that. So he probably doesn't want to talk about like I can't take off the mask now because yeah. I'm ugly. Yeah, when he oh, found out that like... Compound V was a thing, he cried. I mean, yeah. it really, like, broke his heart. In the comics, Black Noir is like an exact copy of Homelander. Yeah. Like he was made as He's like a really backup mean. to kill Homelander, which makes me wonder with this show and with Vi, how have they not come up with a way to kill Homelander? I think yeah. the backup Homelander is Soldier Boy. Oh, okay. And uh, they were but like, he's well, a problem too. Yeah. yeah. He, that, when watching the show, that was my first immediate response was they can't make. A, a Homelander. They can't make a Superman without them being bad. Right. Like, and I love this show for that because it's like Superman would have become a bad person. Yeah. He would have recognized like w I, my favorite horrible monologue in this season is Homelander straight up being like, "Yeah, you can take that away from me, uh, and I'll have nothing left, yes. and I'll just kill everybody." And he's so clearly thought about. It. He's like, first to take out the nerve yeah. centers, yeah. and then I'll just wipe out New York. I will. Uh, I'll come to the hick country over here. And, uh, I was like, that was it's dark. true. I was like, yeah. it's it true. true. Yeah. It's so true. He's like, I have nothing to lose if you yeah. take that away from me, yeah. so I'll just go on a yeah, murder spree. For a second, you feel like, oh, they got the upper hand on him. Edgar's not afraid of him at all. Yeah. They're just going to do their thing. You know, he's going to make Starlight Captain. It's fine. But, like, he's he's like deranged. He's so far off the he's deep end. So... Especially with Stormfront being dead. <gasps> Well, Stillwell's gone. Yeah. He can't see his son. He wants to see his yeah. son. He wants to see his son. <laughs> On the plus side, speaking of his son, Butcher might be the answer for killing him, possibly. Killing with that the son? No, 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 no. Killing, uh, killing Homelander. So Butcher's powers. Yeah. In the comics, Butcher yeah. was injected with a permanent compound V all Yeah, they along. all take it. They right? all take it, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's what they gave them the superpowers. They needed to beat the soups. In this show, though, it looks like he has the laser beams. He has a super strength. Bullets can't penetrate that man. Yeah. You see it. Uh, so kind of the same, but he can't smell. He can't smell like home, or well, we don't know We yet. don't know yet. So yeah. he's getting used to it. Uh, I think, I mean, that scene in the first episode of them talking, that's the foreshadow for the Climax, they want to have the knockdown, drag right. out fight. Yeah. 
I think they're gonna have so the Man weird. of Steel style, style fight where yeah. they're just like destroying a city, oh, killing each other, yeah. oh, which is gonna be dark. Yeah, we haven't seen Butcher fly. Yeah. We don't know yeah. if he can fly. Know. That's true, we haven't seen that much yet. Do you think this Compound V will be permanent? Cause I don't think it's been it's, 24 hours, but he hasn't mm. taken a second one yet. Yeah, no, I don't know the timing, one. but it does seem like there's still some residual effects mm. coming through. And they made it very clear that this Compound V 24 hour version is not. It's unstable. It's not foolproof. They haven't fully yeah. tested it and it's clearly killing some people. You guys. Yeah. I think I got something to add up to that. So we, we got this character new to the show, mm -hmm. Nina, also known as Little Nina in the comic books. Uh, she's a Russian crime boss. She has her own version of Compound V that she got from Vought in the comic books. Oh, okay. But the Compound V that they got was like bad, mm. was bad mm. Compound V. And she staged a coup in Russia with her army soups and then blew up all their heads so she could seize, like, she looks like the hero. To take control. She was okay. like, everyone was like, oh my gosh, she defeated all these random soup villains. And it's like, mm, she got bad compound V from Vought. So not only is she like a menace in the comic books, she clearly is a menace now in the live show. Do you think that compound V could have been the compound V with Nina? So Nina could have the same compound V that's 24 hours that Butcher's using. Hmm, maybe. I mean, we haven't seen her using powers yet, but everyone's afraid of her. Yeah, so everyone's in afraid theory, of her. theory, she has some, either her power is the power we hear so much about, the control, the way to bend the world, or she has like physical superhero powers. I think she probably should have something. I love this idea that she has like the Russian version of it. Maybe it's not foolproof. <laughs> it's just blue. It's just blue. It's just blue. Oh, yeah, red, they got a different actually. color. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they've had blue was the real green. compound V. Yeah, blue was real. Twenty four hours green. Twenty four hours green. So there's Let's get a red. red. Oh, the Russian red. I like oh, that. I didn't even know that the I forgot about the color. Oh yeah, 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 yeah change yeah, the color going. a little bit. Oh, I want her to have. I want them to be like like. Vought has something up their sleeve right now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And what better horrible way for a company than to make a really good product and sell it to politicians in the U.S. and then have a lesser product and sell yeah. it to other countries. Mm -hmm. So I want Vought to be like having the underhand and being like, we're actually distributing both these compound Vs to two different people. Because yeah. we are a pharmaceutical company. Mm, yeah. We're not a superhero company. Mm -hmm. So I think I want that to be the case. I want Vought to be working like under, like this, the Iran-Contra affair. I want it to still be like under the table. They're like, right. we're still sneaking stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't get that wrong. Yeah. yeah. This, They're this spreading the weapons. They're spreading the drugs all mm. over the world. And they just want to be in control of it. It doesn't matter who wins, because they'll mm -hmm. be in control. Yeah. And Little Nina in the comic books was working with like the bot head, heads up. They yeah. were like, ah. they were like two heads in the <laughs> They were like this. Uh, I also just think it, maybe it isn't good storytelling. I just like it, that mm -hmm. it is bad like the compound v that butcher's taking when he's like your blood smells funny i don't want it to be because he's a soup i want it to be because it's a chemical in his body yeah. right. that he's like yeah, yeah. it smells weird now well, it smells I think, like you're I dying. Think he is smelling smelling the the v the 24 yeah, hour v inside it is. of him mm -hmm. and, and that's something his dad could do right homelander has good smell he's mm -hmm. used it before he could smell that like huey and starlight were lying before because their adrenaline guy got, oh. got uh, he could smell the adrenaline in their bodies. So he knew they were lying. He smelled explosives before. So he's just like his dad, which I also think this show is kind of showing that even with good parenting, uh, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. And, it, and when, and it, man, when Butcher, you know, told him off and was oh like, you, you think I'm happy that you killed my Becca? I was like, oh, <laughs> that's his mom, dude. He didn't want to do it either. You want to do it either. You have to do that impression more. Oh, his his <laughs> voice is great. I love it. I, I love it. sometimes I'm like, what are you saying? He was um, I, when he was like, I was absolutely chuffed. I was like, oh, when chuffed. He was, when he was talking and using every like made up word for <laughs> giving head, I was like, it was to the gunpowder, not yeah. gunpowder, but the oh, sidekick yeah, yeah. in the bathroom. He's like, sloppy knocker. Yeah. I was like, what the hell is that even mean? <laughs> I was like, what is this? This is a, what's the guy that does, uh, that did Aladdin, does all the like British mafia movies, Guy Ritchie. Uh. Uh, I was like, is this a Guy Ritchie flick? I'm so confused. Slob your knob? Yeah, slob your knob. knob. Took his leg, <laughs> I beat him to the dogs. I was like, damn, my dude. I mean, me too, I guess. Um, but I, little Nina is someone that we should be looking for. Yeah, she's uh, going to play a big role this season. Playing a big role. I know that the fans are like, oh, because it's also not. Little Nina in the comics was the epitome of a young girl. She was little. Mm. Um, 
they can't do that. Yeah, I'm yeah. fine they with that. They can't do that I'm on the show. That. And There's I'm enough, completely fine yeah. with that. Yeah. There's uh, enough darkness in this show, enough real life in this show. Because, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, Homelander coming out as an asshole and being praised for it. Is, like, too real. That's too real. That is too real. <laughs> they are really good. And that it. was, like, the yeah. last thing we had against him was, like, he had to have a good public image. And yeah. now he doesn't have yeah. to. I'm worried. I'm He's real a worried. Menace. Yeah. He's a menace. So what's the overall plan? So we have Victoria Newman that showed up at uh, in the second season. Mm -hmm. She's clearly blowing people's, not only heads, she yeah. can blow body yeah, parts. Yeah. It's just, her eyes turn I white. Love, I love the establishing this as a line of sight thing. You have mm -hmm. to be, she has to be able to look at whatever Which she wants to blow up. is still so easy to do. The And that boy, Tony, the person that knew mm -hmm. her before yeah. and her past life knew that he just had to cover her eyes yeah you just need to cover her to. eyes that's all you need to do yeah so it's like we have her clearly she might she's probably bad because she loves edgar <laughs> yeah she's gonna do whatever he says and i think it's Vought's plan is to have some their their main problem is the government right yeah mm -hmm. and they want to have control of the government somehow mm -hmm. and it's like money has worked Power and influence has worked, but let's just get someone on the inside. Yeah. Let's get our Manchurian candidate in there. But what's the like end goal? Because it just seems like I understand like companies wanting to own everything. Right. Oh, Amazon. I own. Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. I understand <laughs> wanting to own everything, but there's always an end goal. You're not just trying to. He's, yeah, when he's not, scrolling. When he's scrolling through Amazon. <laughs> on the little shot of like Amazon. Well, yeah. What was he doing? Sorry. He was I, like, buying totally... Connect Four. Oh yeah, he was. Uh, he was. He I was. I was like, because I couldn't see. I was like, is he on a dating app? Because it's like connect, and I was like, what? what? You're, he's he's like talking to it. He's just like, know, scrolling, like, scrolling, also, like looking for a new Becca. Also, butcher connect four. It's a little amateurish for Ryan. Let's yeah. get him into uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Let's get him into Sellers of Catan. I think it's also Let's like get him into Wingspan. Well, this Come game on. won't ever have to make him think too hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is a logic game. It's a strategy game. But connect four he, is like for seven. Yeah, get him at least. A, get him into like a or something. Get him into trouble. Oh my god. Oh, he's in trouble. So, oh, he is in trouble. Okay, uh, sorry. So what's the so? Well, yeah, what's the end goal for like Vaughn think, and Victoria? Like they're clearly merging. Yeah. There's and I don't want to. I don't want any like excuse of like they just want to own everything. I'm like I want to know what the actual mm. end goal is. I don't okay, think okay. Vaughn wants to like destroy the government or anything. I think yeah. they just want to have a fail safe there. Yeah. But if they need to destroy the government, they can. Uh, she could just start popping heads whenever well, she wants, but. I think they just want to be able, if if legislation starts going against them, I mean, he his clear goal is to get Soups back in the army, right? That's mm -hmm. what he's always wanted. Oh, that's what Edgar's okay. always wanted to do. Yeah. So maybe that's it. it and especially because like he, they're smart enough, and she's smart enough to know that you have to be. She's like the AOC version, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, and, uh, you know, and so they would never vote for somebody who's out and out supporting mm, this yeah. so they have to go about it the other way yeah, she's shutting down soup she's locking them up exactly the, the good way so if everybody thinks that she is against this then probably end goal presidency commanding right, yeah. the troops that mm. are on v yeah. temporarily and if need be they could she could order as president the army to get rid of all Soups, yeah. oh, shoot. like not like t yeah. uh, what is it called? Like permanent soup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. she could order the army to to get rid of all permanent soups, and then Vought would be set for life. Yeah, that's oh, but the, and that's like what I want to also. We can maybe talk about this next episode. Is why is Vought so important to Edgar? Like mm -hmm. why is it so important to Giancarlo Esposito? Because he's just like you're gonna die eventually, and Vought just goes to someone yeah. else. Maybe maybe he is gonna give Vought to Victoria. He's like, Victoria's gonna yeah, take maybe. on my legacy. Maybe, or, you know, it's just, while he's alive, he wants to have all the power he can. It's, <laughs> he can. And he's worked his whole life at this. He's yeah, that is true. We saw uh, a young a young how man. How fun for that him. actor. How he did a great be. job. Ah! It was great. <laughs> I was like, that is him. I wow. Was, it was someone trying to do an impression of him. I know it was. I, was I, I got sold yeah. on it. I was like, he's doing a good job of yeah, yeah. this little serious like way that Brandon he Brandon said he stares down you and looks down, up a little yeah, yeah. Face down, eyes up. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, I'm sorry. that <laughs> I'd like so to do terrible. more for you. So these are questions now that I want theories to. What do we think will happen now that the public thinks Starlight and Homelander are a couple? So uh. honestly, embarrassing. Uh, embarrassing girl oh girl and when i when i was like when huey said uh lay low he didn't say there. lay low like you <laughs> know yeah. like that is i mean that was tough I, you know that was some really good you know thematic storytelling there showing her beginning having mm -hmm. to play this like her own yeah, mother I yeah. forcing her to be this mm -hmm. like 
11 year old like sexy singer singing yeah, Britney Spears so adding another layer to the, cool. the darkness of all of that yeah the makeup the dancing and like hi yeah yeah with that like closed fist like yeah. squeezing so hard and you know putting that in at the end I think this was a misstep by Homelander because by mm. doing this it gives her even more power and now in public she can kind of force him into things right she tried to force him into donating the money he said no to that he, he said said shut no. that down he said no that no, was good no, but I no. think by putting them together I think it's a misstep by him. I think it gives her a little, a little yes. more power. I think it's a misstep for him, but yeah. it's also still like a misstep for her because now, and this might be me coming from just like the uh, civilian perspective that I'm like, now she's tied to this man that dated the Nazi. Like, right. yeah. I think like his view, but luckily his viewership went up, I guess. But like, I just think it's stirring more of a ruckus and more crime will probably happen and people will associate her with him now. It might be also that, like, she has to stay with him and with him probably maybe even in, like, close quarters. Yeah. So, yeah. But, at, but if the point is to get a weapon that kills him, that might be the only way that they can get close enough. That is true. Eventually, that is true. That is if is she true. has to, like, ugh, but, like, honestly, just embarrassing, like, the age difference. I was like, ha, la, 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 la. Everything. Everything about ah, it. Yeah. When she had to kiss him, I was like, oh, ah. stop it. I was like, punch him in the face, punch can't, him in the stomach. Can't like Huey and Starlight just have like a full season together? I know. It's like every they season like they a, gotta break yeah. him up. I mean, I, I could tell from the first episode when Huey's looking sharp, looking great ah! in a suit. You were like, this the, will not last. The Peloton, making his smoothies, the hot dog <laughs> the at work. Aqua fresh. Everyone's, yeah. like, the aqua fresh. The aqua fresh, everyone's looking up to him and it's like, this is not no, gonna too last good to be for true. our boy What's Huey. the name of the, the new superhero? Uh, Sh- Soldier Boy? No, 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 Shockwave. Um, was it Shockwave? New... Oh, oh, it's sh- it is Shockwave, right? What does he do with his power? He's fast. He's a is he's he another fast? runner. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he? They have yeah, yeah. two they runners. Just, now they just added another. They, they I always forgot, have more runners because I, I was so stuck on him being a boy band by yeah, himself. Yeah, me too. I was, I was like, like, what is his power? Is he just a singer? I think is he's he just sexy. He's fast. I think they established he's a he's a runner. I felt bad for Huey then too because they when he was talking in the van to Starlight or the trailer, I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, jealousy is never a good look. No, uh, no, but like... Feel confident in your relationships. Don't be jealous. I also, yeah, don't be jealous, yeah. but I was like, I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be mad. <laughs> I mean, I, she, was a, she was a little too friendly. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I hope I hope that he's general. I like I, I, it was very it was very good of him to be like, I'm yes. gonna be here to help you. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna leave you in this situation. Well, that's why I also she tried think, to get him out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did, and I think that's another reason why she decided to fake a relationship with Homelander mm-hmm. is like mm-hmm. not only to like stay low and yeah. stay on the plan was to protect him because he is clearly he already said the most racist stuff to him uh, behind yeah. behind oh, the no. camera, and then had the audacity to speak Spanish to him oh. on camera. And then Starlight was like, he will tear you yeah. apart. Yeah. He hasn't like fully broken me down because I'm also a white woman. Right. Like I am a blonde well, white woman. And he's yeah. emotionally unstable and I think yeah. she can manipulate him. That yes. kiss is a is a manipulation on yes. her part. Uh, yeah. As awful as that is to do. And, uh, no, uh, it's just, I don't even want her to have to do it. I, know, I don't even want I her know. to have to do it, baby. And then they brought the deep back. <laughs> So, the oh God, lastly, this is a question I had as soon as I watched it. I said, how did she get all that medical equipment, Stormfront? Yeah. How, is she, how is she alive? Or, like, how does everyone know she's alive? And also, do they just think that she is half dead from nothing? <laughs> do they know that it's the child? Well, they so they've told this movie has come out. So, I think... The, well, I, I would take it as the Dawn of the Seven is the narrative they're putting out there. Oh. But they all they found out she's a Nazi and they all got together and they fought her. But also mm-hmm. there's a press conference at the end of season two right. and he says like she's been captured, she's been oh. neutralized or something, but we have her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, that makes sense. And she still has all these supporters, all these uh, fans yeah. carrying tiki torches. Again, the real life really, <laughs> really yeah. thrown in our faces oh on, in this God. whole situation. But what I found most interesting is that they release the fact that she committed suicide yeah. on their own news network. And that's very manipulative yeah. in a very strange way. Because again, I think they're playing both sides on this. Where they're like, yes, oh. we're against Nazis. We're fine. Of course we're against Nazis. But also like, hey, Nazis, look what they did to your yeah. hero. <laughs> you know, I think, I think they're playing it both I, ways. 
He when, did, Stan Edgar does say in season two she's good at making people mad. Yeah, she's good. At, and I think, I feel like this is uh, something for the audience and for everyone to take away. We need to remember that this show does piss people off at sometimes yeah. right. because they have to feed to both like narratives. Mm. Because if they don't feed to both narratives, it's not real life. Yeah. It's not real life. You think the news is only feeding to us? Well, usually does. Uh, <laughs> one side, uh, they just need to make So I think it's not only mirroring us, but it's like, you get more clicks, you get more looks mm -hmm. at when you're actually fighting against what's right. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. So I think that's what all of VOT media right. is. It's yeah. like, we're giving everyone They're creating a chaos. They're creating disorder. Yeah. Do, do you think she committed suicide or do you think she was killed? I think Ooh. she did. I think she did bite off her tongue and killed herself she because was, she had was... She one eye tear. And she was ignoring him. She was like, you don't mm. care about... Birthday. You don't care about being the Uber mensch. <laughs> the Uber the Uber driver. You don't care about being the Uber <laughs> driver. You don't care about riding the boat. You don't care about getting five stars. Yeah. yeah. What, what's wrong with this? You didn't talk to me. So I... <laughs> yeah, probably. Because also who could kill her if the, if Ryan couldn't kill her with like a... Well, it's also blast. A, I guess that's that's yeah, seems like an overstep. Yeah, because she just choked to death. Yeah, I said that seems like an overstep for a superhero. That's why I think she might have been like killed a different way. I don't oh, know. maybe there was the blood on the bed, right? Oh yeah, because I was like, do you bleed if you choke? Well, if you well, bite, if you off, bite your off your own tongue, tongue yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah, bleed. Yeah, yeah. But yes. she barely could move, so she had to like really. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a little blood. It was not a ton of blood. Yeah. Someone probably just stabbed her. Mm, maybe like. Well, she still she got stabbed in the eye. I don't know. That's a good question. So maybe her maybe her uvula is like her weak point. If you stab her in the you know what. It wouldn't be right. Yeah, because like there's so many that, things where if you just do one per, one thing to a soup, they're like yeah, yeah. normal. That's her like, Achilles. Tree nuts. Tree nuts. Like, yeah, tree kill, nuts. Yeah. Uh, that's Noir. her Achilles that's heel. Is yeah, just yeah. cutting out her uvula. Yeah. 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 So her tongue is her weakest. Is her weakest. Part. Our biggest questions and biggest takeaways from this is: Is Stormfront actually dead? Mm. Uh, is Soldier Boy actually dead? Right. <laughs> right, right. So are the people that are dead actually dead? Where is this going to be taking Homelander and Stormfront? What is Vought and Victoria Newman's like ultimate goal and yeah. plan? And I think these are things that we will figure out as the show goes yeah. on. And hopefully, uh, do you think who do you think is going to be taken down? Do you think it's going to be actually Vought this season, or do you think it's going to be Homelander finally? I, I think this has to be the season they deal with Homelander. Yeah. I don't think he can keep being the big bad. I, I, and I would love to have that epic battle between uh, Butcher and Homelander. That would be very Both satisfying. souped up. It's uber destructive, and maybe neither of them walks away. I don't know if you could have this show without Butcher, though. I mean, oh, come on. You got it. He's you, so great. Uh, do you think this is, so this is like the season where one, I think someone dies. Someone yeah. big someone has to dies. die this season. It's yeah. been seasons yeah, yeah. waiting, yeah. right? Yeah. None of them have. Well, like Stillwell dying was huge for season one. Right. Uh, Stormfront Good. being neutralized, and Becca dying is big for Becca season yeah. two. Yeah. But it's but not someone has been show. here since the yes. beginning. Mm -hmm. So it has to be like Kimiko. Frenchie, oh, no. Mother's no. Milk, oh, that, Mother's that, Milk. That, none of them. Please do not kill Mother's Milk with his like. He's like, or, I got a family. I, I was worried about. He's this he's new into man. it. He's this into it. Man. No, he's into Homelander. Uh, he's into Homelander. Stepdad. Did you remember the scene? Wait, what, who? The with stepdad. The stepdad. He, uh, Mother's Milk's our stepdad. Did you see the scene when he was? He's he went. Like, yeah. He said, "Put down my beer. I'm into and this." And he dressed up as Homelander too, yeah, which did. again, yeah, he did. Yeah, Poor did. Mother's Milk had to go to his daughter's birthday party. And the, the man who has come in to replace him. <laughs> no, stepdads are fine. Stepdads are fine. <laughs> but, but he dressed up as Homelander. Yeah. Home who and also, cake. Oh. And who actively is doing and all And his ex-wife is like, I know this isn't cool. Yeah, you know it's not cool. He's yeah. doing press saying your daughter, that he was like, in love with a Nazi. Come on. And then oh. I, at first I was like, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them a pass. The, the family because they're black. And then at the <laughs> rally in the trailer, there's a lot of black people at the Homelander rooting for yeah. him. Yeah. So it is a diverse rally and I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm Again, tired of real it. Real light, we see real life. Oh, yeah. They said he, I could have a beer with him. I said he married a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> the number one Nazi, you guys. We uh, give us feedback. Tell yeah, us, yeah. Yeah. tell us what you want to hear more. Is about Ashley the gonna survive the season? Poor yeah. Ashley. Um, <laughs> Getting her hair I'm ripped out. She's not dead yet. Oh I, my god. I, how does she still have so much hair? That's I what literally, I, I rewatched season two, thinking she was dead already, <laughs> and was surprised that she had not died because I was like, oh yeah, she died in season two. Oh, she's true. I was like, Though I love she Ashley alive? too. Ashley too is great. She's she's said, oh my god, Ash. I'm sorry, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley too I is my favorite. <laughs> my favorite part about Ashley was so much in these three episodes. She's doing great. Yeah. Of is pull my hair. No, pull it out. <laughs> oh my god. 
So. <laughs> Tony Gilroy had to reshoot Literally. all your scenes. Yeah, so many did. good filmmaker references. Tony Gilroy, uh, Roger oh, yeah. Deakins, mm -hmm. just great stuff. Great Go stuff. ahead and uh, give us your guys' little underground of what you saw yes. in the episode that we didn't talk about on The Boys Underground. And that is it for this episode, you guys. We summed up three episodes, yeah. season three. It is crazy. Maybe be over 18 to watch it. <laughs> yeah, oh, my oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be back here every Friday breaking down the boys. Uh, <laughs> here at the Boys Underground. Please tune in. Please keep your kids away from this show. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you think it's a butthole, and then you're like, you why is it a butthole? <laughs> I, saw, I thought it was a butthole, and I was like, weird butthole. <laughs> Would a butthole have been better? I don't know. I don't better know. or worse? For me, I, I would have been okay with it. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Marina. No. Uh, follow Brandon at Grin and Barrick. Follow Marina at Marina Mastros. Uh, follow me at Lulu underscore Clemens. Follow new Rockstars here on YouTube and on all social media. Make sure to hit that notification bell and be sure to check out our new Rockstars Discord. You have to be 18 plus just like to watch the boys. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you tune in and tune into our Tumblr yes. account. Um, I'm over there going crazy a little bit. Sometimes it's a lull. I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> um, but check us out next Friday when we do a recap of episode four, season three. Bye. Bye. Bye.